I know my friend's going to be excited about this one. Want to know why? Because I've been telling her that I was going to make her a tie-dye shirt like mine for a while now. But today is the day. I got you. And thank you for tuning back into my channel. It's here outside. So today I am going to be recreating this tie-dye shirt that I made. And I made one for myself and my family. And my friend let me know that she wanted one too. So I told her I would make her one. So that's what we're going to do here today. So I just went down to Hobby Lobby and got the supplies. What's up? Hi. Hey. What's up? You've been wanting me. What can I do for you? You can be for me to take care of you. Like me, I like you too. Yeah. Now I know this outcome it of this shirt. It probably didn't come out right because I didn't wet it. So I'm just gonna do the same exact thing that I did before. So the cats sitting over there watching me, y'all. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did before. This is the shirt, and I just kind of. Pinched it in the middle and twisted it like this. Like that. I don't know if y'all can see this, but this is what I did. And just kind of make sure everything is being done. Take two. So basically, I'm just turning it in a in like a ball, and with the arms being the last of the ball. And when you buy the tie dye, so that's how it looks. And when you buy the tie dye, it comes with like a bunch of big rubber bands. I've been using these rubber bands for other stuff too. So you just put them on there to hold it or whatever. Because when I first did this, I thought like the liquid had went inside. And I was like, wait, this ain't right. I thought it was supposed to suck in there. But it's because I didn't wet it, but it's okay. I still like my shirt. I think I like it this way better. All right, so all secure. know if it's a girl or a little boy but she following me said that why I did the video hey what's wrong I like to wear my vans my colorful vans 
when I wear my tie-dye sweater. So, the mask, I got them. So I want to show y'all the mask that I made. I made this one, and I made this one. I made more, but um, yeah, I don't have them. I gave them away when I gave the shirts away or whatever like that to my family members. But yeah, um, I don't know. I like them though. I do. I wear them. I wear them all the time. They're like my favorite masks. And I'm a rebel to the masks. I do wear them, but I don't wanna wear them. Yeah, I just feel like sheep. But anyway. I've done a shirt and a mask for take two. So I'll see you guys in six to eight hours to show you the results. I wanted to come on and tell you all that, you know, if you, can, if you notice I had on two different outfits, that's because I had to do scene or the video twice because this is the first way that the shirt came out um as you can see the colors aren't vibrant it looked like it's kind of been washed out that's because the dye that i had used for this particular shirt was it had been sitting for a little bit and i didn't know that the dye you know loses potency after a while but let me show you the the shirt that we just did so this is the tie-dye shirt that i just did for her this I love the sound the color, how it sounds off the yellow. It's really cute. This has to be one the favorite one, a favorite shirt that I've done. Like out of all what four or five of the shirts that I've done, this one is my favorite. It, um, I think it's because, because of the color. So vibrant, you know, it's everywhere. Um, here's her mask. I think it looks pretty good. I think I did a good job. I'm very satisfied with this shirt. I was not satisfied with this shirt. You see the difference? Like, even if it if if this shirt was more vibrant, the colors popped out like this one, then this one would be okay. But the colors aren't popping like this one. And then with this one, I kind of used a different method. Like I kind of opened it up and soaked on the insides and stuff like that. So it kind of got it more places than, you know, on this one. But on this one, I didn't necessarily open it up. I just literally did it how I had did the last, like my shirt and my family shirt. This one, I kind of improvised a little bit, did what I felt, you know, to give it a little bit more color and it turned out perfect. Glad you all was able to join us for day nine of Vlogmas. I'll see you tomorrow. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I